We're talking about sacral torsion shear, how to diagnose and treat it. I hacked it, I published it, I figured out a different way to do it that's much easier. And it's a, this is this with this, I just chronic back pain that nobody is addressing. And I see this all day long in here, okay? So you put both of your thumbs on the ILA and keep your butt relaxed and then press up like a cobra, okay? My left thumb almost always drops, okay? If you're gonna say your right thumb drops, send me the video, I wanna see it, okay? And that tells me that they have a sacral torsion and it's torsion that way. So I push on the right ILA and I bring it back like that, okay? And then you can have them press up. And if they have back pain, you can ask them, does it still hurt in your back? If that doesn't work, then what you do, it's, it's usually an anterior sacral tilt caused by a hyperlordosis oftentimes. And then you go like this and hold the sacrum down like that, press up like a cobra. Okay, and if they say that it's gone there, then you put them on my posterior pelvic tilt protocol. One way you can check yourself, lay on your uh, back for me, please, is you can check the um, the difference between the 90-90 test here. Pull, don't we pull out? This people with uh, with uh, sacral torsion, it, you can just break the right side. Usually, really easy. The left side you can't break, and that's how you check yourself to know which side to strengthen. Okay, thank you.